What does it take to turn a rough log slice into a beautiful coffee table? Let's find out. First, I planed one face of the slice on a jointer. It took multiple passes because I was very careful to avoid tear out when planing end grain. But it turned out great. To flatten the opposite face, I could not use a jointer as both faces wouldn't be coplanar, so I had to make a router sled. I cut some boards to length, then ripped a piece of melamine board to act as a bottom of the slide and two pine boards for the sides. I used my router base as a template to make sure the slide is working fine. Then I screwed all three pieces together. and marked the spots where I will make a cut for the router bit to freely slide. Next, I had to enclose both ends of the slide to make sure it stays square and also to stop the router from sliding off. I drilled two holes at the bottom of the slide and cut the straight lines on the table saw. Every now and then I kept checking if the router base still fits. As the workpiece was not very large, I could use my jointer table as perfectly flat surface for the routing sled. It was my first time using a router sled. The router bit was only 12 mm thick, so I had to make a lot of passes. This took a couple of hours. And made a lot of mess. But another face of the slice was looking good as well. Next it was time to remove all remaining bark, rotten wood and other defects. I sanded the sides with an 80 grit sandpaper to remove rough edges. Sides now were looking good, it was time to remove the bark and rot from the middle of the workpiece. I used a chisel and a dremel tool for this, both worked great. Next, I traced the outline of my soon-to-be table on the smelamine board and covered the area with a painter's tape. I also sealed all the cracks with duct tape. I put the slab on the melamine board, sealed the edges with hot glue. Silicone would have worked too, but hot glue just dries instantly. Now I could start pouring epoxy. I used maybe 500 grams for this project in total. I had a few leaks, but spotted them early enough. A few days later, I flipped the tabletop over and poured epoxy as well. Not sure why I was messing with each crack individually, I should have just poured the whole surface and then spread epoxy with a heat gun to penetrate better and save some time. But this worked fine too. I left epoxy to cure and started making the legs. 
I cut a piece of this nice oak slab. I made sure I get three legs out of this piece. I ran it through the jointer to get one face and one edge flat and square. Then I planed the opposing face with my thickness planer. I ripped this board into three equal pieces on a table saw. And then ran them through the thickness planer again to get them to the final dimensions. I cut one end of each leg at 15 degrees on my table saw with a miter gauge. Then I marked the other end of all three legs and cut them. Next I had to make a jig to make tapered cuts. I marked the portions of the leg that will be cut off. I took a piece of melamine board and marked the lines where the leg needs to be placed to cut off the taper I need. I hot glued some scrap foot and screwed it to the board to act as stops for the legs. I made two cuts, but now I needed to make the third one. So I used a wedge to compensate for the cut on the opposing side of the leg. Now it was time to chamfer the bottoms of each leg to avoid splitting when dragging the table across the floor. Then I added bigger chamfers on all vertical edges of the legs to make them less bulky. I sanded the legs with my random orbital sander and then finished with a sanding sponge. One leg had a small defect at the top, so I filled it with epoxy. Next I needed to fabricate threads for the legs out of these stainless steel bolts. I marked the centers of each leg and drilled a hole slightly narrower than the thread. I picked the matching size tab and tapped the threads. I used some epoxy to make sure those threads are not going anywhere. Epoxy was fully cured, so I started sanding it. I managed to sand the bottom of the tabletop with my random orbital sander, but it was a waste of time. So I ran both faces through the jointer again. Then I took my angle grinder with this flap disc to remove epoxy from the edge. was very messy, so I used all the PPE I had. After removing the bulk material with the angle grinder, I finished this job with sanding. I also softened the edges by hand with the sandpaper. Next I sanded both faces of the workpiece. I found a few spots where epoxy didn't do its job well and filled them with some CA glue. I also removed excess epoxy of the leg. It was time to mark the places for the legs. I drilled the holes for the threaded inserts. I used a bolt and a nut with a wrench to drive the threaded inserts in. 
as I didn't have an Allen key this size. I test fitted the legs and they were looking great. Now it was time to apply the finish. I used the Sosmo oil. First I applied one coat on the bottom and the edges of the workpiece. I removed the excess with a dry cloth. Then I applied the same finish on the legs. After that I flipped the piece over and applied a coat of oil the same way. It was already looking nice. I applied one more coat on all sides and when the oil was dry the job was done. Although the end result seems like a basic piece of furniture, I hope my video helps to understand that there is much more effort involved than many people anticipate. I hope you liked this episode, thanks for watching and take care.